Hello friends and investors and home buyers and sellers and their great, great, great and exciting news about the 2022 January market watch, market data. Again, it's compared to 2021, if you just see now, is the market has gone up like 28%, almost 28%, 28.6% up the average price gone up by 28.6 percent compared to same time in 2021 guys people are still buying and selling and let me tell you that people always worry about the you know uh, you know about the market is too high and i always tell them you know whenever you're purchasing whenever you're buying uh, uh, real estate guys just buy don't think too much do not be worried about too much don't get like too much concern about it okay market uh if you want to hold for the long term when i'm saying the long term long term mean like you know you need to hold three to five years okay you cannot make money you cannot flip your your like you know uh, uh property right away within a few months yeah in these days going on even the I call this is a buyer market as well. Even though buyers are buying, you know, like six any like I have clients who have purchased the house like six months ago. Now they have already made hundred and fifty thousand. Somebody have made already hundred hundred thousand dollar, hundred hundred and seventy five thousand dollar. Well, this is a this is a crazy market right now. I know the, the reason is less inventory. Okay, is a, a supply and demand issues. Okay, and that's why and the interest is way way low guys okay that's the reason you know our market the prices is getting flipped too quick right but if you as an investor okay if you as an investor think as an investor okay don't be like you know flipping you know the property right away in few in a few months few weeks don't think like that okay otherwise you always gonna be worried about it okay if you have money if you can invest 20% of the property price for the three to five years, you can you have the holding capacity, you can simply invest and hold guys, okay? And you will be you will be laughing, you will be always thanks to your real estate agent who help you, advise you, and guide you, right? So let me just tell you that the the average price like already gone up, like you know, it's crazy and uh, the last year, same time, the price was $966,000. $966,000 now is almost 1.2 million, 1.25 million almost, right? So uh, you can imagine like price has gone up by 28%. And this, the price I just mentioned you, that the freehold houses, okay? Is not necessarily a detached house. The detached house prices is crazy. It's gone way, way up. Is going, you know, it's gone up. That is almost 1.7 million to 1.1.7 million to 2 million. That depends on you know, which area you're looking because I'm just talking about general uh, and a very gen generic, like you know, GTA market, right? It uh, if you go to um, in Mississauga, you're gonna get the different average price. If you go to like Oval, you're gonna see the different uh, you know, average price. So, but the average price overall for the GTA for the detached house is almost 1.7. Okay, this is a this is the average price. Okay, and the transaction. Okay, in terms of the sales activity, is is in January the sales activity was uh, same time last year as uh, almost 600. 6,888 houses got sold, okay, is included all kind of property, right? But this year, uh, January 2022, the sales, I mean, the, the total transaction happened, that's 5,636 transaction happened uh, in 2022. So you can imagine in, the, in terms of the sales activity, is went down because of the inventory, is a less inventory, is a 18.2% went down. And, and new listing, when it's come to the new listing, that's also went down. In the 2022, uh, 21, the total listing was 9,438. Now in 2022, total listing was 7,979, so almost 8,000, right? And it's went down 15.5%, right? The active listing in 2022, sorry, in 2021 in January, 
was total 7,396, almost 7,400. But at the moment right now, uh, 4,140 in, in January, in the month of January, the active listing was 4,000, almost the half, you can imagine. And average price, like I already mentioned, is went to like 28.6%, right? And average uh, days on the market, like, you know, in 2021, January was like 24 days. Like if you're listing a house, it used to stay like for 24 days. But in 2022, now it's, it's, it's almost 13 days. Within 30 days, just, you know, uh, and again, it's depending on the where the location. In some places, like, you know, a uh, house is getting sold within a within couple hours, right? So it all depend which area of GTA you, you live and where exactly you're selling your house. Like I said, this is not just a selling. Seller market is a buyer market as well, like, you know. And uh, the detached house, like I already mentioned that, is went up 28.3%, uh, the price-wise. And semi-detached, the price-wise is, is gone up by 31.5%. And the townhouses, the price is gone is 34.8%. These are freehold townhouses. And condo apartment, the condo apartment, the price has gone up by 24.5%. Guys, if you want to like, you know, if you want to know like more breakdown area wise and and, uh, and neighborhood wise, just give me a call. My number is 647-280-0201. This is Aman Khan, uh, you know, from iPro Realty, teamaman.com. You can always call me. No sting attached, guys. Okay, you can always get the idea before just making any decision. Make sure that you always call me. Get the, you know, always make an informed decision. Okay, guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.